All right, this one's gonna be on live streamer. It's a command line tool to watch um, videos from like Justin TV, Twitch TV, Ustream, and a few other sites. So if you type in live streamer dash u, and this will display all the plugins that they support. So uh, you know some of these sites here like Justin TV, um, YouTube. Uh, these are YouTube live streams. And uh, what was these other ones? Well, they have Ustream, right? So, and, and some of these other sites, if you want to use uh, those other sites. But how would you use this? Basically, if you go to one of those sites that they support, we'll use uh, Ustream here, TV. And we'll go to, I guess we'll go to the news or something. And we'll play this Korean one here that's live. Right, so it's playing this, and we'll just uh, enlarge this here. And all you gotta do is copy um, the Ustream TV and then their username here. Copy that sucker, and you can close that out. You don't need that anymore. Uh, so how would you use this? So all you gotta do is type in live streamer, and you paste in um, the link here. And when you run this, it'll actually run, um, or it'll actually detect like what streams they have available. So they have different streams here, okay? This one is 238p best, and then some of these other ones. And that's what you'll use at the end here. So at the end, you'll use type in uh, the, one of these streams that you want to use. I'll probably recommend using best because that one is always exists. Uh, even if you have a different channel, best, it just picks out, uh, you know, the best quality one, I believe. They don't have one for shittiest. If you have like a bandwidth issue and you want to use the lowest one, you know, there's one, there's no one called lower or minimum or something like that. There's nothing like that, okay? But, you know, if you're doing scripting, uh, best is the way to go. Otherwise, you can do, like, maybe using grep or awk or something like that to get the first one only. Um, so, that's it. All you gotta do is type that thing in here and just run it. And by default, we'll use VLC as the default player. And you can see that now he's playing uh, that channel. Instead of going to the website... You can just use your player and uh, you can resize the player if you want. So that's much more convenient, right? So that's what you can do. And, you know, if you have uh, a couple of these, let's say, for example, we open up our uh, CSHRC here, or you can use BashRC or whatever it is, and you create a couple of these functions. So let's say I make a function and we'll call this Ustream. Uh, it was like Korea or something like that, right? And we'll type in live streamer. Uh, if you want to use a different player than uh, than um, VLC, you can do dash P. And you type in like M player. And then we'll paste in that link here. And we're going to use best for our stream. And that's all you got to do. Save it. And reload our shell. And all you got to do is type now is uh, Ustream. Korea here and it'll play that stream every time you run that command and there you go you have your new site and this one works with you know other sites also like Justin TV or Twitch TV so we'll do Justin TV here and we'll go to the live channels here and we'll pick one of these suckers so what is one is here Okay, we'll pick this one. What is this one here? Some tournament shit. Okay, we'll copy this. And it looks like they're playing, I don't know, is this Warcraft or something like that? Whatever, who cares? So, basically, you do the same thing. And um, if you type in live streamer and just paste in the link here. Now, you see, it depends on the the channel and each channel gives you a different um, stream that they have like this one has a lot of stream they have uh, this low quality one here right all the way up into was the iPhone and stuff like that if you want to watch it on there but like I said before if you're doing like scripts or you want something that's uh, always available you want to use best even live does not always exist so best is what you would want to use because that one is always uh, available there so you do the same thing. You do uh, that, and you type in best, 
and it will open up with your default player here in a minute. So hurry the fuck up. There you go. Right, and this is uh, their gameplay that you can watch. Real simple. And again, after you say, okay, I know that works or whatever, you can create another function. And this one, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it JTV dash game. And I think they're playing, I don't know what the fuck they're playing. We'll call it just game and live streamer. And again, I like using M player, so I'm gonna use uh, my own player here, called M player. And we'll paste in the link, and we'll use best also, right? So you keep making these um, functions and saving it. And all you gotta do now is type in JTV games, and it will just play that stream every time. So that's the convenience of this. So in the past, we were doing just like RTMP links and stuff like that. This program takes care of that, um, and it's much simpler because all you gotta do is type in, uh, you know, the URL and then the the stream that you want to use and the player of your choice. Um, so that I think that's about it for the program. It's not that hard. If you want more help on it, you can always type in live streamer dash h here, and they'll give you. Um, you know different options depending on which services you use like if it's just in TV or some of these other ones it might require cookies or a password depending if the channel is password protected or something like that right so everything I discussed they give you an example here already so that's it for that and like I said it wants you accumulate a lot you can do like JTV and you can see that I have a couple of channels in here already so if I want to watch Dragon Ball or something like that I just I've been Dragon Ball here and I'll just play that stream. Alright, so that's it for that.